Okay, what we've got here is a Pyramid 32 amp continuous duty power supply. We took the cover off. Uh, we're going to be working on a few things. Number one, we've got some cooling fans for the heat sink. We zip tied them together so they sit together on the heat sink like that. We're going to run these power wires through the inside up to the uh, connections there. And we're going to take this cable here that has power pole connectors on it. And we're going to run that out the back of the power supply so that we don't have to use the posts. On the front, the voltmeter is a little bit removed right now. Uh, we're going to be adjusting the voltmeter, hopefully. There's a pot right there. That adjustable white pot. And whoops. Hopefully, that will adjust the voltmeter so that it actually reads properly. It reads 15 volts when my pretty expensive multimeter reads 13.8. And uh, we were going to put some lights on the meters, but we don't have the gear for that yet, so we'll have to do that another day. We'll come back when I show you a little bit of work. Okay, what we've got here is uh, we strapped the fans to the back with some zip ties. Took a little bit of doing, unfortunately. We put the zip ties through the channel in the heat sink. And the wiring for the zip tie, right here, went inside the power supply. In front of the fan, here's our strain relief right here. We're going to use that as a, uh, a strain relief. And then right here we've removed the amp meter. And uh, we're going to attach the uh, fan right to the back of the leads. This way there's no external wiring and you got two nice fans right on the... Uh, right on the heat sink, which is the way to make a power supply last forever. The fans light up blue LED. I don't care. They were 10 bucks cheaper than the fans that did not light up, so I said, okay. Okay, now, we got the wires in place. They're over there, we've removed, we removed the amp meter so that we got easy access. Right now, we're gonna do a 12 volt pigtail. Hook it right up to those posts. We're going to drill a hole right through the back panel below the fuse holder. we got a rubber grommet that fits. And of course, right on the end, we've got Anderson power poles, which are out of focus, but oh well. And then we're going to have a 12-volt pigtail with 10-gauge wire coming out the back, which should suffice for uh, most of the gear we're going to run with this power supply. Now we got to go drill a hole. Okay, we drilled a half inch hole in the sheet metal and we put a rubber grommet in there and now we've got our uh, 10 gauge pigtail going through. We still have to solder on the wires here but then we'll have a, about a two or two and a half foot pigtail with Anderson power poles on there. We're gonna go, uh, gonna go solder that on and we're gonna solder on the uh, power leads for the uh, cooling fans as well. Okay, we now have the pigtail installed in the grommet. We've got two zip dies going through holes that are already there in the floor of the power supply for a strain relief. The green cables, of course, are for the fan. And down here under the amp meter, we soldered it. I'm not, a, I'm not very good at making a clean solder job, but, you know, you can't win them all. And uh, later on, we're going to put some lights on the meter. For now, we're going to try to make the meter read accurate. Okay, we adjusted the pot on the board that controls this voltmeter. And uh, the pot is turned down all the way. And as you can see, that reads about 14 and a half volts. But we're getting 13.95 on the meter. It's as good as it's going to get, I guess. Yeah, it reads about 14 volts. 14 and a half, yeah. It's about as good as we're going to get. I haven't bothered with the amp meter since I've got no load hooked up. But right over there, you can see right here, this blue and white pot. That thing right there adjusts the voltmeter. I've turned it down all the way. So we're kind of stuck. Okay. We took the power supply apart to put lighting on the meters. 
as you can see uh, they're just standard Christmas lights the scotch tape is holding the lights in place until the glue dries just using Gorilla Glue right now uh, the other meter uh, is also drying the glue has dried sufficiently and uh, that's the only thing we did right now as you can see the Christmas lights we just used a set of Christmas lights at Walmart two dollars and uh, just cut the end off there six lights the lights are two and a half volts per lamp you wire them in series you get 15 volts uh, that way there's no chance of overloading the lights and blowing them also easy to replace uh, a lot of people are gonna say oh that's cheap it's not professional well guess what it was inexpensive it gets the job done and when you put the power supply back together no one will know anything about it and that's just fine with me okay we've got the uh, lights in the gauges and they're looking pretty good we're just waiting for the glue to dry before we put the cover back on this is what it looks like on the back we soldered it to the leads right where the posts are looks a little bit uh, you know not entirely professional on the inside but it's gonna look good when it's done and here's the finished product ready to go you can see we got the lights in the meters the uh, voltmeter has been adjusted that's supposed to be 13.8 but it's like 14 and a half that's as low as I could adjust the gauge or the meter but uh, the lights are okay the top light looks a little bit off to the side I think it came out rather well especially considering that it cost me two dollars